Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for the 1st of September, the first day of meteorological fall. Sounds just cooler saying that. Of course, it's pretty hot and steamy today. But uh, here's the deal. We've got uh, uh, tropical issues in the Gulf. A lot of questions. Let's just see if we can answer them. And let's start with the sky cam down at Gulf Shores. Uh, the surf is clearly increased dramatically during the course of the day today. It's cloudy. They've seen some rain down there. And uh, it will be a situation where riptides will be possible through the Labor Day weekend. I know that the uh, public beaches at Panama City have been closed down in the Panhandle. And I would imagine the red flags are flying there. The surf will be very rough and uh, nobody will want to be in that ocean. Uh, for the next several days as a tropical storm develops in the Gulf, and that could pre produce some extremely heavy amounts of rain uh, as well down there. And again, we'll get into the specifics of uh, that here shortly. We'll head up uh, north. There's the uh, Guin Sky Cam up in uh, Marion County. A few buildups there. That's the Inverness Sky Cam in North Shelby County and from Selma. That's the Edmund Pettus Bridge crossing the Alabama River. All right, we got the, uh, the heat ridge a little northwest of us today. And again, you can see the disturbance in the Gulf. And again, that should become Tropical Storm Lee relatively soon. We'll check the radar at 146. We have isolated showers over the northern third of the state, mostly along and north of U.S. 278. Not many. A few spots getting wet. Most spots are not. And uh, the radar should look a lot like that tomorrow. And then again, Saturday. Showers are possible, but they'll be very widely spaced. Temperatures low in mid-90s, exactly where we thought they would be, and we'll see numbers like that the next two days. Uh, readings are between 90 and 95. Hot spot, Tuscaloosa, they've got 95. On the watch warning map, flash flood watches in effect already for uh, the southeast parishes of Louisiana, over into coastal Mississippi, and again, I would expect to see uh, Mobile and Baldwin County, Alabama, under one soon, as well as the uh, counties in the Florida Panhandle, all the way down to Bay County in uh, Florida. Uh, there's the convective outlook, slight risk up north and tomorrow, again, around the Great Lakes. And, of course, it's going to be awfully wet and wild for the Gulf Coast. Check this out. <laughs> Goodness, this is the rain expected through Tuesday morning at 7 o'clock, and that's no misprint. That's 18.9 inches around uh, New Orleans. Goodness gracious, uh, this is... Uh, that's bad stuff right there. It's a lot of flooding, and that's going to be the biggest issue with this tropical system. It's going to be rains and floods and coastal issues. And, of course, in Alabama, the, the rain amounts taper off from north to south, but we're finally starting to get better clarity in modeling, and I, I do think that we're going to have a good chance of getting some really good beneficial rain in here late in the weekend, early next week. Uh, I know that a lot of folks don't want a wet Labor Day, but, goodness, as dry as it is, we'll take that. Here's the big board on the tropics. Uh, first off, a pretty strong little disturbance is up in the North Atlantic. Now, that's not really a classic tropical system. It's more of a hybrid. They might give it a name. Uh, and oddly enough, you know, if they give that thing a name, you know, that might wind up getting the name Lee. We'll just have to see the timing on all of this. Uh, we've got the disturbance, obviously, in the Gulf, and we have Katia, the uh, hurricane that is in the Central Atlantic. But that was a pretty cool shot of the hurricane that's actually coming from the uh, space station i mean i thought that uh, was an excellent presentation this afternoon and again you know no real change in the thinking on this more than likely this should be a recurving hurricane not affecting the united states tuesday morning it's well north of puerto rico and again the, the main issue it's going to be the island of uh, bermuda and there could very well be a problem there uh so we'll see. But again, no impact here. All right. There is what should become Tropical Storm Lee. And, you know, by golly, if that, that little system, that hybrid up there in the North Atlantic gets the name Lee, then we fall back on uh, the M name, which is Maria. All along, we've talked about this being Lee. Well, hey, who knows? Whatever the name is, it's going to wet down the uh, Gulf Coast. In fact, look at this already. We've got, uh, you know, very heavy rain bands just offshore and some pretty decent uh, thunderstorms uh, inland up toward Interstate 10. Uh, and again, you can see that that rain is not that far offshore. And as long as this thing is loosely organized, it's going to be a big rain mass. And we are talking rain all the way as far east as Panama City and Apalachicola. 
Uh, so clearly, if you are planning a Labor Day trip to the beach, it's not going to be a good one in terms of weather. You know, wind, rain, maybe flooding, riptides, closed public beaches. That's what you'll be facing down there for the next several days. Having said that, some people just like to go down there and eat. And hey, you know, works for me. But if you're looking for a lot of sun, and uh, you're just not going to see that down there this weekend, unfortunately. All right, the modeling on this thing. You know, uh, this is the spaghetti plot out to 120 hours. And I I think clearly what we've got is a situation where the uh, steering currents are weak. And that thing could meander around the central or northwestern Gulf for several days. And again, this could uh, create some extremely heavy rain. In fact, I'm just seeing now the uh, Weather Service in Mobile just putting out a statement about that. Uh, But we, we could see rainfall amounts easily over one foot down there with this thing just not moving much. And again, the intensity, uh, this should not become a a hurricane, I don't think. Uh, There's a degree of wind shear aloft, and that should keep it a tropical storm. Um, But the main effect is clearly going to be very heavy rain, not not from wind. Check some of the modeling uh, in addition to the tropical models. This is the RPM. This is valid uh, the 4th of September. That would be Sunday at about... uh, three o'clock in the afternoon it's got it inland a little northwest of baton rouge extremely heavy rain over mississippi coastal alabama the florida panhandle and that thing is headed right up in here and that would be a big rain mass sunday night and on labor day a big soaker for us we'll check the european all of a sudden it's on the same bandwagon and it's faster you know that the run i showed you this morning had this thing coming in here like late in the week i'm talking the end of next week But now it's got the Lee or whatever the name will be coming right up in here. This is Tuesday, midday, and this is suggesting the heaviest rain might hold off until Monday or Tuesday. But again, the European agrees with the RPM, and now the Canadian agrees with everybody else. We're getting very good model agreement now. It meanders. It finally comes up into Louisiana and Mississippi, and we get a big wet down early in the week. Rain could be widespread here by Sunday. Heaviest rain days, Monday and Tuesday. Getting pretty confident in saying that. Now, again, this is a tropical system. It could change, but for now, confidence is much higher, and it's getting very significant rain. This could be a very good thing to knock out this big uh, rainfall deficiency. We'll check the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. And, uh, again, the main westerlies are up on the Canadian border. Down below that, there's the tropical system, Lee or Maria, which whichever one, south of the Louisiana coast. And, again, very heavy rain over southeast Louisiana, the coastal counties of Mississippi, Alabama, and the Florida Panhandle. Saturday, so this is uh, 7 p.m. local time Saturday. The thing is kind of coming up toward New Orleans. And again, we're dry, really. For tomorrow and Saturday, our weather not changing a lot. Now, we could see a, an increase in cirrus clouds, high clouds coming off this thing, which could keep the heat levels down. But, you know, low 90s. And, and yes, maybe a few showers, but nothing widespread at all. And I think for the high school and the college football games, rain will not be a big problem. Could there be a shower at some stadium somewhere? Yes, but again, I don't think it'll be a big problem. And then Sunday, here comes the rain. The GFS brings the uh, tropical system up slowly, just ever so slowly. And uh, goodness, that onshore flow just keeps on going for days down there. Mobile Bay and uh, Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Destin, Panama City. This could be a tremendous rain event down there. And up here, Sunday looks to be very wet. There's Monday. I'm telling you, this thing's not moving much. It's it's sitting over like Lake Pontchartrain. We're still in very heavy rain on Monday. Cold front coming down from the north, kind of helping to uh, enhance the lift. And there's Tuesday. The the remnant circulation is still over southwest Alabama. So, and remember, you know, you've got the European that's slower, and it's got the main rain shield, you know, coming in here Tuesday. So clearly we'll maintain the elevated rain chances Monday and Tuesday. Rain could be heavy at times. We might be under a flash flood watch despite the dry conditions of late. And even Wednesday, it just sits there. I mean, uh, uh, this could be a really big rain event even for the inland parts of the state next week. And there's Katia off to the east, and there's uh, Thursday, still moist, <laughs> A week from today. So for those folks that have been praying for rain, your prayers, I think, are about to be answered. We'll check the end of the forecast, 9-11, September 11th, and uh, uh, we are dry. I'm sorry, this is not the end of the forecast. This is the 11th. Katia is on the way out. We're dry. Just wanted to show you that ultimately we do dry out. This is uh, Sunday morning, the 11th. Now the end of the forecast, September 17th. 
Uh, the westerlies up on the Canadian border, and that's not going to give us any really cool air. We're always looking forward to the first morning where you get in the 40s in the fall, but obviously that look is not going to uh, support that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, and if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.